Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I want to discuss how high blood pressure can cause erectile dysfunction and impotency in men and also actually lower the libido for women. Now, over the years, I've had a lot of guys tell me that the solutions I gave to them to help lower their blood pressure naturally has also resulted in a side benefit of better erections. Now, they've asked if there's any correlation or maybe if it's just coincidence. And yes, there is a direct correlation. And I'm making this video for all the guys who do have some kind of erectile issues or maybe that they're concerned about or maybe want to fix or maybe just want to help prevent it in the future. Also, as I said earlier, high blood pressure can also negatively affect a woman's libido as well. So this isn't just for men. And I bring this up because a third of adults, about 30%, have high blood pressure and about 75% don't even know it. Sadly, the older you get, the worse the problem. And these numbers are also similarly correlated with erectile dysfunction. So there are two main reasons for having erectile problems. The primary one is a hormonal imbalance. And basically, the numbers and ratios are not optimized. And I've covered this in the past, but basically this means that your total and your free testosterone levels are down and they're lower. Your estrogens, those levels are higher. Your prolactin, which is another female hormone, is also higher. Your cortisol and other stress hormones, again, are also elevated and high, and you have higher insulin levels. Additionally, an imbalance in hormones will also eventually lead to the secondary cause, which is poor blood flow circulation. And I've also covered this in the past. However, what's interesting is that high blood pressure or hypertension is one of the symptoms or resulting consequences of both hormonal imbalances and or poor blood flow. So either way, the end result is higher blood pressure, which also happens to accelerate aging. Now, what most people don't know is that PDE5 inhibiting drugs such as Viagra and Cialis actually help lower blood pressure in addition to improving blood flow the end result is actually being stronger erections. In fact, sildenafil, the active ingredient in Viagra, was originally developed for high blood pressure. However, a side effect, or more of a side benefit of it, was better erections. Now, what's interesting is that Pfizer has two drugs that contain sildenafil, Viagra for erections and Revatio for hypertension. What's super interesting is that Revatio actually costs much less than Viagra even though it's the same exact drug and dosage. So getting back to high blood pressure and erectile problems. Now one study showed that about 50% of men ages 40 to 79 with high blood pressure also had erectile dysfunction. Another study showed that almost 70% of men with high blood pressure had some degree of erectile dysfunction. And about 45% of men, it was considered to be very severe. Okay, so the big question is why does hypertension, you know, even cause erectile dysfunction? Now, high blood pressure basically keeps the arteries that carry blood into the penis from dilating and expanding the way they're supposed to. It also makes a smooth muscle in the penis lose its ability to relax. As a result, not enough blood flows into the penis to make it erect or stay erect. Ironically, though, hypertension drugs that help lower blood pressure also lead to erectile dysfunction. So the best way to treat hypertension is to do it naturally, especially if you're concerned about erectile dysfunction, whether it's because you want to help reverse it right now or maybe prevent it in the future. With that said, below I've got two important links, one being to another YouTube video entitled Five Clinically Proven Ways to Lower High Blood Pressure, and the other link is to a scientifically researched remedy for lowering your blood pressure in just 30 days or less. It's basically a natural alternative to hypertension drugs, and it's actually what my own father uses. So please scroll down below to the description area right now while it's fresh on your mind and improve your blood pressure naturally and help fix any potential erectile problems you may have or want to avoid in the future. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.